What is the blended workforce? To begin, let us define the term blended workforce. There have been different uses of the phrase across time, with the blended workforce having been used occasionally to reference a mix in demographics within one workforce. However, this is quite a dated definition of the term, and it is generally understood to refer to a blend of internal and external workers being blended into one workforce. As the author of The 2020 Workplace, Jeannie Meister, describes the concept, she explains, the workforce of the future won't be all full-time employees. Rather, it will be blended or composed of full-time employees as well as consultants, contractors, freelancers, part-time employees and other contingent workers, collectively known as gig economy workers. Within the field service sector, we have a somewhat confusing lexicon revolving around the blended workforce, and many terms being used synonymously for the external aspect of the workforce, including third-party workers, gig economy, and contingent labour, and we'll take a look a little bit later as where these differ. But first, let's look at why service companies might want to introduce these external workers into their labour pool at all. Benefits of a blended workforce. There are in fact many benefits to adopting a blended workforce approach. And we'll be hearing more about these directly from a range of service companies that have been using such an approach for a number of years. However, at a surface level, let's take a look at some of the key headline benefits. Wider geographical coverage. There is a huge benefit of widening your pool of engineers. By moving beyond the confines of your own internal workforce limitations, field service companies are able to not only ensure a wider coverage for faster resolution of existing customer problems, but also expand their service offerings into entirely new regions, opening up a potential revenue expansion that wouldn't be possible. Optimising costs. Of course, one of the biggest upshots of increasing the coverage area a field service organisation can service locally is a reduction of costs with regards to travel and accommodation, often some of the most significant numbers on a service PL. However, this is not the only area in which the blended workforce allows field service companies to optimise costs. As we'll see during this documentary, many service companies embracing the blended workforce do so to ensure that their internal workforce is focused on the more complicated service requirements, while more routine tasks are then passed to the external workers within the blended workforce. This ensures that the most valuable resources are allocated where they are needed the most and where they bring the most value to the service provider and the customer alike. Skill requirements. While on one hand, the blended workforce allows a field service company to ensure the skills of its internal workforce are accurately placed. On the other, it can also provide an opportunity to expand the existing skill sets of the internal workforce wherever needed. Again, providing a greater opportunity to not only serve existing customers better, but also to be a tool for potential growth. Seasonality. Perhaps the most obvious benefit of all when it comes to the blended workforce approach is that it gives field service organisations the flexibility to meet the fluctuations in demand that naturally occur across different seasons. Of course, bringing in a mix of all three of the previous mentioned benefits, seasonality perhaps best encapsulates the key advantages the flexibility of the blended workforce can deliver. The blended workforce and the pandemic. As is with the case of many aspects of field service delivery, the pandemic has accelerated changes in our thinking when it comes to moving beyond the status quo and embracing new ways of working. The adoption of the blended workforce is very much a facet of such accelerated thinking. It's not hyperbole when we state that the pandemic of 2020 has shaped our lives more than any event in most of our living memories and has impacted us all. From SMBs to enterprise, from heavy industrial sectors to home maintenance and for companies across each and every inch of this globe, there has been a need to totally rethink the way we approach service delivery. In fact, an exclusive field service news research project run during the latter part of 2020, which engaged with over 240 field service organisations, identified that nearly two thirds of field service companies have had to implement some form of prioritisation during the pandemic to deal with reduced capacity that they faced within their field workforce. And half of these companies believe that the levels of prioritization that they implemented within the pandemic will become a permanent fixture in terms of their service operations. 
While there has been much discussion within the field service sector around the challenges of the pandemic, we are still only beginning to just about face up to what the impact of the significant periods of industrial activity will be as we begin to move into the recovery phase. As field service companies across the world begin to build a pathway to overcoming the backlog of work that at the time was deemed non-essential, it may become imperative for them to turn to external labour forces. However, this is not the only reason it could be critical to adopt a blended workforce approach as part of the new normal, or at very least during the recovery. Despite the number of vaccines being produced in record time, the fact remains that in the short term, likely at least the next 24 months, that those who catch COVID-19 will be required to isolate for a period of between 7 to 14 days until vaccination programmes and herd immunity reach a point where the virus is no longer a threat. It could well be commonplace within such an environment for field service companies to suddenly lose critical resources should a number of their engineers have to isolate at any given time. This is perhaps one of the key known unknowns that we can mitigate against as we look to this uncertainty that is set to be part of the recovery period. And the blended workforce will be a critical tool in giving field service companies the flexibility to cope without the luxury of a stable workforce. The solution to this new challenge is increasingly apparent. The field service sector must become more accustomed to the blended workforce approach and the flexibility that can provide if we are to get a grip on the loss of capacity that threatens to otherwise spiral out of control.